Today I'm going to talk about a feature in Adobe Captivate 2019 that I probably won't take advantage of myself. However, if you are new to Adobe Captivate in general, this might be a great way for you to bridge your experience between creating instructor-led training using PowerPoint presentations and developing e-learning. So when we go back to Adobe Captivate 2017 and we create a responsive design project, one of the things that we discover is that if we attempt to import in PowerPoint slides, it's grayed out. It's simply not available. Even if you go through the file drop-down menu and select import, you'll see that PowerPoint slides is grayed out. So that just wasn't an option prior to Adobe Captivate 2019. So let's go back to Adobe Captivate 2019 now and create a new responsive design project here. And we'll attempt to do the same thing. So now you can see that PowerPoint slides are available to import into your Adobe Captivate project. Also, of course, you could use the file and import option as well. And we'll just select that now. It always asks you uh, after which slide would you like to import these slides. I only have the one. So I'll click OK. And now I can import in my PowerPoint presentation file. When you're importing your PowerPoint presentations, you'll be presented with this Convert Microsoft PowerPoint presentation window. And here you can select which slides you wish to import. You can also make a couple of other choices. Do you want to advance the slide using a click box, which is uh, on mouse click, or automatically after a set number of seconds? So in this case here, I'm going to go with uh, on mouse click. That's fine. And you can choose to either link the PowerPoint file. If you uncheck this, it will actually make it part of your Adobe Captivate project and import it as part of the library. I'm going to leave, with, leave it with linked right now, and we'll click on OK. So here we have our PowerPoint presentation file. I'm just going to delete this first slide since I don't need that anymore. Keeping in mind, of course, that when you import a PowerPoint slide like this, the aspect ratio of the slide itself remains 4 by 3 in this case, or 16 by 9, or what have you but your project itself is responsive design. So if I use a preview slider here and shrink this down to see what this is going to look like on a smartphone, you can see that this is really not a practical use of that PowerPoint presentation file, especially in this case because of the amount of text and how small that text is going to be. Now, when I first saw this, I started to consider, okay, well, how can we get around this? And what I decided to do was to go back and look at my original PowerPoint file. Is there something I can do with that PowerPoint slide to actually make it a little bit more ready for mobile design? So let's close this project down and I'm going to import another version of the same PowerPoint and show you what I came up with. So we'll create a new responsive project. I'll import PowerPoint slides again after this current slide. So you can see here I've got the same selection window that I had before, but you'll notice my slides look a little bit different. They're taller rather than wider. Uh, in this case, I've already gone through and edited that PowerPoint file so that it would be appropriately sized for something like a smartphone or maybe a tablet. I'm going to import those slides now. So as you can see, the PowerPoint presentation itself is very tall and narrow on the screen, but the advantage is, is that when this project is viewed on a mobile device, that's still going to be a lot more legible to the end user and there'll just be a little bit of white space above and below. So consider taking a look at your PowerPoint files and doing a little bit of pre-work with them before you import them into Captivate 2019. And one last note I'd like to make is that 
make sure that you don't rely on this workflow forever. Start to learn the features of Adobe Captivate 2019 so you can take advantage of the really cool e-learning design that you can build on your own. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.